Good morning, guys. It's Monday. I think it's the 26th. Is that correct? The 25th. It's been a month since Christmas. Wow, that's weird. I'm actually sitting out front of the Walmart right now, if you can see that. I actually just ran in to grab a few things for my new office. I wanted to get some toilet paper and paper towels and just a few cleaning products that I can keep up there to keep things nice and clean. Um, and, and things like that. So nothing really exciting, unfortunately, but I will show you all of that once I move into the space. I meant to meet with um, the owner of the property this afternoon to get the keys. And so we'll see what she says about when I can start moving things in. Um, I'm not sure if she's gonna be a stickler for February 1st or if she'll be okay since there's not a tenant in there right now. If we start moving things in sooner, we'll see. Um, I have a big cup of delicious Dunkin Donuts coffee with that Dunkin creamer. It is so good that I talked about in last week's vlog. And yes, um, of course, Nora's at home with her nanny and she's having a great morning there. So I'm just out and about running a few errands, getting some things done. And um, this afternoon, I definitely need to get some work done on the Etsy front. It is so warm right now. How, what is it? It says it's only 50 degrees. To me, it feels like more like 60 or 65. Like it's very, very warm. So I'm going to probably grab some lunch while I'm out. It's like 11.15 and then head back home and relieve the nanny and um, start getting some Etsy work done, spend some time with Nora, you know. But anyway, welcome to weekly vlog number three of 2021. I've been in here cooking and I am making this recipe. It's called curry stand chicken tikka masala and it is so, so yummy. And we're going to have it with some rice and I think I'll probably steam some broccoli. And then these are little non mini dippers. Here's the package that goes on the outside of them. And so I'm gonna pop those in the oven for, I think you only are supposed to do that for just one minute, um, just to warm them up before I serve them with dinner. This is such a delicious recipe. I highly recommend it. Oh, do you wanna play on your tablet today? Yeah, okay, mommy help you. While that sauce is simmering, I thought I would show you some of the new Burt's Bees PJs in the next size up that I just bought for Nora. They just arrived today. She's starting to outgrow her last batch, um, which were lots of Christmas designs because I ordered them, I think, in around maybe like October. So we have this one is like hibiscus tropical. This one is just kind of soft. Well, it's actually a hibiscus. I didn't realize that soft floral. Hi, Nora. Um, we have a shamrock one for St. Patty's Day. You like that one? a dragonfly one, another St. Patrick's Day rainbow one. I absolutely love this kiwi one, it's so cute. And then we have little butterflies and some red Valentine's Day hearts. So there is her little next round of Burt's Bees PJs. We clearly love these. She had those, she's had Burt's Bees PJs like her whole life, <laughs> haven't you? Are those your favorite? Those are so beautiful, Nora. They're gonna look great in them. So I'm gonna pull the tags off and wash all of them. And then, yeah, and then we'll put them in her drawer and she can start wearing them. Nora, you like them? Hey, yeah? Oh. Ah! That's the ones I love. I love the kiwis. And these are so cute and summery. Oh, I love them. All right, here is dinner all finished. Can you see the steam coming off of it? Yummy, yummy. And Nora's having some too. Hello from my new office space. Nora's here. Riley and his mom are on the way. So let me show you around. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. It is going to be wonderful. Look how spacious, this is all mine. All right, so here's the front door, and when you walk in, there is this large front room. Nora's exploring. Hi. And this is where I'm going to put my desk, and I'm going to make this room. Hi, beautiful girl. I'm going to make this room the, I'm calling it like the pretty office. So this will be where I will do my mentorship sessions, and um, I'll have a rug in here, and I'm going to get a couch in here, and we'll put Nora's toys in a basket in here. And this is where I'll do mentorship sessions. This is where I'll do administrative work, paperwork, um, editing videos, all that kind of thing. And it will be like a nice, pretty office space. It's quite large. Um, and it was just repainted a fresh white color and they just redid the floors in here. What do you think? And then back in here is my closet for this room. Floor to ceiling shelves, it's fantastic. 
tons of space and tons of room. So here is, hi Nora, here is this big front room. It's going to be great. Now moving, so then this is all mine. It's just amazing. Are you closing the door? So moving back into this second room here, this is going to be the Etsy packing studio. Look how large it is. It is so spacious. So I'm going to put a bunch of probably <laughs> folding tables up here and then have one large packing table in here. And this will be where all of the garments will live. I'll probably end up putting um, some shelving units to keep inventory and things like that. But here is this second room. So we'll have the pretty office out here that can be clean and clutter free, garment free, all of that. And then here will be the packaging studio. It will be more utilitarian. Um, I'll probably put some kind of speakers in here so I can listen to my podcasts and music and whatnot. It is a really decent sized space once again. And again, another really large closet with floor to ceiling shelving which will be fantastic for storing inventory like when I've done acrylic tumblers in the past or when I did mugs those take up a lot of space but I can tuck them away safely in there and um what I think we're going to do is of course cover all of those outlet covers the handyman is still fixing a few things which is why that one looks that way um, and we're gonna cover all of those and make them safe and I think we're gonna make this corner I'm gonna get like a mat and put some play things in it so that um, when we are up here and Nora's up here, there is, um, sorry, my sister just texted me. There's a place for her to play. And then, like I said, I do want to also put some, um, what, what's the word? So like a basket of some toys. Now moving back. Yes, there's more. This is such a gem. Let me find the lights. I'm not familiar with this space yet. So back here is kind of the kitchen break area. So um, I think what we're gonna do is get a refrigerator for right here. And um, we could probably put a table and chairs back here if we wanted to have a place to sit um, and eat. I don't know that I really would ever do that. I would probably honestly eat at my desk, but I could put some, find something to put back here. I mean, there's plenty of space. Hi, maybe a little coffee bar or something. And they didn't update the kitchen. So you can see the kitchen's, um, you know, a little retro, but it's totally fine because I don't honestly, it's not like I'm going to be cooking up here. It's just a sink, um, but I'll definitely, definitely have some kind of coffee pot or coffee maker, won't I? Yeah, and keep just some drinks. And then the bathroom they just redid before I moved in. It's really nice. So it has a pretty, um, what's this called? Countertop. <laughs> pretty countertop and um when I met the landlady up here yesterday to sign my lease she had just purchased this mirror I think it's really cute she said I went with a circle I thought it was more trendy she's really really cute um and she said and I also purchased this clock I just thought it was cool I thought you might like to have it up here and I was like oh thank you um and then there is of course a little toilet so even this room is actually really spacious so this is my new office space and like I have all of this space you know, to put some snacks in or snacks for Nora, things like that. I don't anticipate her spending exorbitant amounts of time up here because that is why we hired a nanny um, in the past, gosh, I don't know, six months, eight months, last summer. Um, no, no, we're not going to play with the toilet. Come this way. Come on, let's go play up here. But, of course, there will be times when we'll be up here. And it's big enough that Riley and I and Nora could all be up here and um, sort of, like, getting work done and spending time together, which is, like, such an amazing gift. So this is my new office space. What do you think? I realize it's kind of hard to visualize because it's just, like, all white walls. Uh-oh. But I've been looking at this adorable pink couch because... It's my office and if I want a pink couch, I can get one. Um, put a pink couch here and like a big fun colored rug um, and a big long desk. And then like I said, in this pretty office, I'm really gonna make it pretty. I'm gonna get like cute end tables. I just ordered art for this wall um, to go in between the windows. I bought curtains yesterday. Like I'm gonna make this a very cozy space so that when I'm up here, it doesn't feel industrial. And then the next room, let me come down here with you. 
And then the next room back, the room that I'm gonna do all my packaging in, I'm gonna let that be, it doesn't need to be pretty. Like I'm gonna let that be super, she wants to go outside. We can't go outside. I'm gonna let that be super functional, lots of folding tables, industrial shelves, just super functional. And then when I want to escape and come up here, I'll have this beautiful space. So this is my new office. I'm so excited about it. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday now. I just got off with a mentee. We had a great conversation this morning. I'm getting ready to update my Etsy clipboard and get that all ready to go for the week. Nora's with her nanny playing and we're off to a good start on Wednesday. Look what I just got in the mail. It's <laughs> I do not need any more of these Walmart sweatshirts, but I stinking love them. I have, I think I have four. I talk about them all the time. I don't have any with this little tie-dye stripe. And I was, um, I almost said Skyping. I was Zooming with one of my mentees, Paige, who I was talking about her channel, Paige Fall Pop Vlogs, which I will link again below. She's so great. Um, <clears throat> in my last video and she was wearing one of these she was wearing the blue one with the stripe and we were talking about how much we love the walmart sweatshirts and it was so cute and she sent me the link so i went ahead and got this purpley colored one i think it is so so cute and it's this is the brand it's called time and true um i really 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 love them this is the cut is just slightly different than the other ones that I have, but um, it's still like a nice oversized sweatshirt. I just think they're super cute and perfect for work from home days and mom days at home, you know, with a pair of leggings. Comfy, a little better than a ratty t-shirt, you know, cheap. They're like 10 or 11 bucks. So I'll leave a link below to, if I can find the ones that I have purchased in the past, I'll leave a link to those. And then this, um, this style is slightly different and it comes in some other colors. So I'll link that. Also, I checked my PO box mail recently and I have reached out individually to everyone who sent me a package and to all of you who sent me Christmas cards. Thank you. I enjoyed looking through them so much. Um, and then a woman named Kelsey sent me these amazing shower bombs, but I do not have Kelsey. I don't have your address um, or email address or anything to be able to contact you. So if you could get in touch with me, because I would love to thank you personally. Um, I would love to thank you personally for these amazing shower bombs. One is just breathe. One is no longer stressed. And this one I think is called citrus fresh. Um, in the package, it said the name in it, but there's not a label on it. But anyway, Kelsey, I just want to thank you so much. I am sorry. I wasn't able to reach out I tried to find you on Instagram and I couldn't and so I wasn't sure how to reach out. But to everyone else who sent me packages, thank you so much. I reached out to you individually, but I also wanted to share you, share with you um, this cute new sweatshirt. I'm sure you'll see me wearing it, you know, once a week. Also, I shared this really cute um, barn painting that I got um, in last week's vlog. And the original intention was to put it above our bed, but it's just so small. I didn't want it to be overly huge, but it's just... It's too small um, for putting above the bed. It's just not the right size. So I don't know. We'll figure something out. It's not the end of the world, but I still love it. I think I might put it in the front area of our house because then we can even enjoy it more and see it even more. I walk in and what do I see? I think my AirPods also on. That's not really <laughs> So tell me about this. Oh, well, this is a George Strait uh, Resistol hat. It's straw. I didn't want to go all out and get like a felt Sunday, you know. This is hat. what you used your Amazon um, yeah. gift card money on. I did. Where are you going to so wear you it? a full shot. See you looking. Oh, looking. looking good. Where are you going to go? Date night, church, uh, Walmart, when I'm out in the fields, you know. Uh, you feel pretty I'll good. I'll probably put it on whenever I drive to work and come home and I'll put it, leave it in my car. But when I'm, when I'm driving my truck, I look real cool. Then I won't wear it, you know, inside anywhere or inside. It just will be a cool driving hat. Okay. But I love it. I love it. You gotta tip your hat.
right, the table is all set. We are having, I'm having my mother-in-law, Nora's having her grandmother, Riley's having his mom over for dinner. Um, and so I just set the table and I put out my new cloth napkins that I got from Lake Lady Design on Etsy. I'll leave a link below. And I even set up Nora's little setting. And I am making chicken marsala florentine tonight. My mom makes this recipe a lot and it's so amazing. I've never made it, but it's super simple. So I'll show you when we're finished. All right, here it is. So on, it's chicken marsala florentine. I'm vlogging, by the way. Um, so on the bottom is angel hair pasta and then pan fried chicken and then a mixture of mushrooms, spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, and um, marsala wine. Delicious. All right, there's your there. All right, so here it is on the table and we have some fresh bread courtesy of my mother-in-law and Noemi's eating. We're gonna enjoy. Happy Marsala! <laughs> Good morning! It's Thursday now and we are heading to Nora's weekly mommy and me tumbling class. So it's about 9, 9 17 and the class is around 10 so I'm going to see if I can stop and grab some coffee for myself on the way there. But I'm super excited she had such a good time last time and it was such a fun bonding experience. So I better get moving before she starts fussing too much. But Good morning and happy Thursday. Hey guys, we just got back from tumbling. I'll pop in some of the footage that I took of Nora today. She had so much fun and on the way home, she totally fell sound asleep. So I transferred her as quietly and gently as I could from her car seat into her room and she is still asleep. The transfer went well, which is always like hallelujah. So while she's napping, I'm gonna probably grab myself some lunch. We have some good leftovers from last night's dinner, which was delicious. I just made my bed. I'll probably throw in a load of laundry, just get a few things going, um, you know, while she's napping. And then when she wakes up, I think we might go take a walk. It's a little chilly, but it's not bitter cold. So um, it might be a nice day to go get outside. Hello, it is about eight o'clock p.m. here on Thursday evening. Today has been a very full, very good day. So Nora had her tumbling class in the morning and then we came back here and while she napped, I ate lunch and got some work done. And then we went up and took a long walk and played outside for a while. And then she fell asleep again. And then I got a bunch of housework done. I like did the dishes, I did a load of laundry, I cleaned up our bedroom, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I'm preparing because we are having our big move into my new office space tomorrow. So we have our nanny for a lot of the day tomorrow so that I can sort of pack up and gather up most of the items that I would like to take up there. And Riley will help me starting in the afternoon with you know loading up his truck and loading up my SUV and getting it across town and getting it into the space and starting to lay it out and set it up. I have purchased a really beautiful rug already for the space, um, for the front part of the office. I was calling like my pretty office. It has a lot of pink in it. I want it to be very, very girly. Um, and I do think I'm going to buy a pink velvet sofa, which I'm so excited about because that's not something I would buy for our home, um, but totally something I would buy for my office. So really, really exciting. And maybe, you know, if we move or if I don't need an office, I'll, I could put it in Nora's playroom. I feel like she would totally love something like that or even like her bedroom if there was space for that, a pink velvet sofa. So I found a few that I like, but I'm waiting to see. Um, but that's gonna be the rest of tonight and I'm gonna get some sleep here in the next couple hours and I'll see you tomorrow for the move-in day. Good morning and happy Friday. I woke up early, early for me. I was up at like seven and I usually get up closer to eight, but I got up and showered and I even like curled my hair and I'm wearing this new top that I showed you from Walmart and I am feeling good. <laughs> I think I got up early because, okay, Nora, hang on. Cause I'm so excited about today about starting to move everything into our, um, my new office space. It'll be so great. I still need to change this. It's still Christmas. Um, but I just think it's gonna be such a fun day and I'm sure we won't finish the um, entire process because there are a few things, like we don't get the internet installed until next week and I have some mentorship sessions between now and then so I have to leave one of my computers here. So anyway, there's like some logistics that we have to sort of work out, but a lot of things can be moved over there and then I can spend the next couple of weeks organizing them and sorting them out. I have a hungry baby on my hands. These, let me show you. 
are a favorite of ours. These Eggo Minis, if you have a toddler, they come, they're waffles, but they come and you can break them apart. It like looks like four little pieces of toast. And sometimes I'll put like a little almond butter on it or a little bit of just regular butter or even a little syrup and she loves them. And I'll do that with some yogurt and some cut up fruit and it's like such an easy, good breakfast. So, Eggo minis. They also have like mini pancakes and stuff which could work well too. Anyway, let me get to making some food because she's super hungry but I wanted to say good morning and happy Friday. Here's her little breakfast this morning. We do the same breakfast or some variation of it a lot. Are you excited? Okay, let's move your water out of the way. There you go, big girl. Waffles, yogurt, and strawberries, and Charlie Bear. You love it. And here's my breakfast. I'm having half of one of my delicious New York bagels with some cream cheese. And I am having a cup of coffee in my Relax Your Jaw mug. I'm gonna add a little creamer. Yum. Hello from my new office space. I've spent the past couple of hours getting everything, not everything, getting a lot of things gathered up at home to bring up here, mainly the, the things for the second room. The electricity should be, we just finally signed the contract with our electric company in this new space, and that should be kicking on here in the next, they said maximum of 24 hours, so hopefully sometime soon. It's pretty chilly in here and we have no lights, but it's still early enough in the day that you can see me. So we have this big space. All we have up here so far is this one clear plastic chair plus some art that I ordered and some um, curtains that I purchased that I wanna hang up in here because this space up front is going to be my pretty office. And I also bought a really pretty rug that has a lot of like rose and pink tones in it to go up here in my pretty office. So I will totally, back to my tour guide days of walking backwards, I will totally um, show you once I put that in. Um, up here, we brought the three folding tables that I've had in my living room for the past, you know, however long. And we will end up buying some more folding tables to go along this wall, to go along this wall. And honestly, this space is large enough that we could put some as an aisle down the middle. That will just help with when I'm sorting garments, like for example, in January, after all of the orders came in from my New Year's sale, I had 1,700 garments that were, that came in all at once. And to be able to sort those, I really need a lot of surface area, which is why having a space like this is going to be such a great help. So I'll be able to put out a whole bunch of folding tables and lay them out by size and design and all that kind of thing, and it will be great. I also do have down here um, this little pile of stuff that I, um, a little bit of inventory. I still have a handful, very small handful of relax your jaw mugs um, and things like that that I brought. I have um, my trash can. We had this up in our front room and um, we weren't using it. So I brought it up here because I could definitely use shelving for sorting inventory and all of that kind of thing. Um, and then I have my little cart that I use for shipping. So we brought plus a few things here in the closet. Um, it's definitely hard to see in there. Well, it's not that hard um, just because there's no lights, but it's like I said, it's it's actually, you can see it's pretty well lit in here um, and it's the afternoon now. It's like 3.30, I think. Yeah, 3.26. So um, it's definitely not like the brightest time of day and still there's some good light. Now in the back part where the kitchenette and the bathroom are, there's no windows. So it's pretty dark back there, but especially up here, it's pretty good lighting, huh? Mm -hmm. So our plan is, if you can think of my office space at home, I have a really large oversized desk that's actually meant to be a packing table because when I bought it, I used it as a desk and a packing table, but I have fallen in love with having like a really huge desk. It's really nice to be able to spread things out. I just really like it. So I'm going to actually move that table up to here. And even though this is going to be, it'll be the same as at home. So I have like a pretty office at home with this like huge, not that pretty desk. It's gonna be the same thing up here just because it's so, so functional. Eventually I'd like to get more of like maybe some white furniture or something that's prettier up here. I move that packing table back there, but there's some technology things that would have to happen for that torque. I would need another computer that could handle a few different things. So 
we're just going to build it piece by piece and um, we're not like going out and spending thousands of dollars on furniture or anything like that we're using what we have and what i've been using and we're just going to slowly supplement that with some new items until we get to the point where we feel like okay this is really what we need um, i definitely am having some fun like i bought the rug i'm definitely going to buy some lamps i bought curtains some art things like that especially up here for this i keep calling it my pretty office i don't know what else to call it because this whole space is my office but this little section um, I'll put my desk along this wall and that way I'll have a place to do work that's not packaging um, in an environment that's not covered, literally covered with garments. So it'll be really good. So that's the story. You excited? Yeah, it's looking good. It is. It's going to look really good once we really start getting things in here. Electricity. Yeah, we need electricity first. That's the thing is that I cannot move for obvious reasons my main desktop computer that I use for everything up here until we have both electricity and internet. And so electricity should be clicking on here in the next few hours or at least in the next 24 hours. And then internet I think is being installed Monday. Is that when we made the appointment? Yeah. Yeah, Monday. So, um, and it's Friday now. So by the end of next week, by this time next week, I should be completely moved into this space, which is really exciting, but it's just gonna be a little bit of a slow process kind of getting it all going. Um, story but here it is feels good yeah our house looks great our house looks empty i will show you when we get back home empty it's so it's crazy it looks totally empty so here's the art that i purchased i actually bought the digital download files off of etsy so i'll link those below i thought they were really cool they're like a watercolory painty abstract with blush pink and gold and like a navyish blue i just really like the look of them and um, I'm gonna hang them up here in between these two windows and I thought that those would just be really a nice background for my mentorship sessions um, so that you know people aren't just staring at me on a blank wall and it will be pretty you know for me to look at too and then I bought these um, like blushy light pink sheer panels um, from Walmart to hang up on the two windows. So I thought that those would be, because once they're, you know, they look like a darker pink here, but once they're hung up because they're sheer, they'll look more like that. And I think that'll be really pretty with those, don't you? And then I have like a deeper um, colored rug. And I think it's gonna come together. I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. I'm going for something that's a little bit more, I don't know, eclectic's not really the right word, but just like that has a little bit more layered to it, just for fun, because why not? So. Oh, and then I ordered, after I ordered the prints, I got them framed and printed at um, Smallwood Home, which is a place that I have talked about a lot before, so I'll leave a link to them below if you're interested. All right, let's get out of here. Hey guys, it's Friday night now. It's about 7.30 p.m. and I was just uploading all of my footage from the week to see where I was. And I'm about 30 minutes and so I feel like that is a good length for a weekly vlog. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. Thanks so much for following along with me this week. It's been a really exciting week getting into my office and starting to move in. And of course, next week will be more of the same, getting organized. I might even do a whole video on just like organizing things and putting things away and it's just so exciting. So once we get the electricity turned on up there, I can be up there a lot more um, and we can kind of do all of that. So a lot of exciting things coming. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more. I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching.